I recently got this one up super duty double bike rack and my mother has the single quick rack from one up and I thought I'd do a quick side by side comparison now that I've used both just uh, in case you're wondering about the differences between them. So really the overall size of the platforms like these uh, they're the same length the same design same operating characteristics um, everything like that really the only difference between the quick rack and the super duty rack is where it mounts the vehicle so on the super duty rack you can actually see that this is made out of steel and it's a two inch receiver only so you can see it's only for two inch so if you have a one and a quarter your only option is the quick rack uh, so you can also see that it's slotted here so that you can fit a pin through. So you can put a pin lock in um, for the hitch, and then it still has the bolt there that pushes like a little ball out to stop this from wobbling. So I'm just moving this thing up and down with the vehicle, but there's no wobble. So it still has that like anti-wobble bolt, but you can actually pin the rack to the hitch rack and put a lock on it. This, from what I understand is steel, it looks like steel to me, um, so it's a lot burlier, that's for sure. Now, with the quick rack, you can see it's made of aluminum, it's smaller, and it's one and a quarter inch. Now you can, or this comes with an adapter to be able to put this in a two inch receiver. So if you have a two inch receiver, you can still buy this rack. Um, but you can see that there's no actual hole for putting a pin through. So you actually put like this Velcro strap on for safety and it has a tightening feature, which I'll put down here. So behind this lock is the bolt for the anti-wobble. And then you put like a, a, a hitch pin lock or something like that to stop anyone from stealing it. So it's the same kind of idea. Still has no wobble, right? So, well, actually I should probably tighten this for my mom a bit. It has a little bit, but um, all I gotta do is tighten that up and it won't have any more movement. Unless it's actually, oh no, that's actually just the, hit, the platform moving. Okay, so I'm grabbing here. Moving the vehicle up and down, no wobble. So that's nice and tight. I was grabbing this thing. I thought it was the whole thing moving. So anyways, um, you can see that it's just a little bit lighter duty. And so that has a couple things, a couple positive and a couple negatives about it. So the quick rack single or the quick rack only comes as a single. You can expand it up to three bikes and at 50 pounds a bike means it can hold up to 150 pounds. So you can only expand it up to three bikes and each bike to a max of 50 pounds per platform. But because this thing is a lighter duty version, the rack itself in the single format only weighs 23 pounds. So it's quite light at 23 pounds. You can expand it up to three bikes and each bike can only weigh 50 pounds. Now my mom has an e-bike and her e-bike weighs exactly 50 pounds. It was like a size extra small. Um, so if you have really heavy e-bikes, because some of them are extremely heavy, then the quick rack won't work for you. Okay, so the Super Duty. Now the Super Duty rack comes in a single version and as a single version, it's 28 pounds for the rack. So it's basically five pounds heavier and that's gonna have to do with like the little bit bigger components at the bottom there. And the single version of the Super Duty can also only be expanded up to three bikes, but each bike can be 75 pounds for a total of 300, and, or sorry, 225 pounds. All right, so just to reiterate, the single version of the Quick Rack can only be expanded to three bikes at 50 pounds per bike. The single version of the Super Duty can be expanded to three bikes at 75 pounds per bike. So really it comes down to one, what type of hitch do you have? If you only have an inch and a quarter hitch, the quick rack's your only option. If you have a two inch hitch, you could get the quick rack or you could get the super duty rack. So it depends on what your uses are. Now you can see here, this isn't a single version. This is actually the dual version of the super duty. Now the dual version can be expanded from 47, or sorry, can be ex expanded from one to four bikes, okay? and at uh, this version, so this one exactly I have in my car, is 47 pounds total in weight for the rack assembly with the two bike platforms on there. You can put two more expansion platforms on and each bike can then weigh 50 pounds. If you only need three bikes, you can do one extra add-on 
and each bike can weigh 75 pounds. So to reiterate, if you've got two e-bikes and each e-bike is around 75 pounds, this is the rack you would need. And it's really your only option. Now, both of these racks you can get a ramp for, and the ramp uh, my mom has for her, she uses it to get the bike up onto the rack. Um, for me, I can just lift my mountain bikes on, so I don't use the, the ramp for this. But like I said before, these racks work exactly the same. They have the same build quality, same functionality, um, and really it just depends on what your needs are and what you're thinking that you're going to have to do. If you think you might need four bikes eventually, then this is your only option. Um, so yeah, so anyways, that's really the, the, the only difference is really between these two racks. It's just kind of like what kind of vehicle you're putting on, how much weight you need to carry, and what expansion you think you might need. And both of these come in a single version, which is really nice. If you are thinking like, well, I might need two bikes every now and then, but a single version would probably work. The single versions are really nice. And the reason why, is when this rack is all the way up in a single version, you can see it doesn't block any cameras, it doesn't block any lights, and you can easily open the trunk. No need to put the rack down. So the single version is super nice in that way that you don't have to ever move the rack, basically. So my mom keeps the rack on all the time. It's never, she's like, it never feels like it's in her way at all. Where with the double, with the double, if you ever want to get in the back of your vehicle, you have to put it down. With a single version, you could open the, the hatch with, without even having to move the rack. So that's kind of the benefit of the single. Um, I was really contemplating getting a single, but I got this double for a really good deal. So I went with the double. But the single is really, that's kind of a huge bonus for the single. It's definitely less obtrusive, out of the way, um, it's lighter, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I hope this kind of helped in case you were like kind of bouncing back and forth between the, the uh, quick rack and the um, Super Duty. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Or if you have any comments to help others with making a decision, um, please leave them below. Any input is very helpful to anyone looking to get these racks. All right, thanks for watching.